You are not fit to be called the CS in the Republic of Kenya because you have some scandals and your case is still being investigated. That is what the ESCC told the former Kakamega governor Wycliffe Ambesha, Ambesha Oparanya before he represent himself Sunday this week to the members of parliament who are doing nomination regulation according to Kenyan constitution. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to our YouTube channel Zan Kenya TV. It is my hope and prayer that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. I want to take this golden chance to thank you so much for your great support to this platform because if it was not your support then this YouTube could have not reached to where it is as at now. And happy new month and let's hope for the, for the best in this new month. Let's proceed and take a look, watch this video because that is what, this is what is going to form the basis of our political discussion. The ghosts of alleged fraud in Kakamega County during Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya's tenure have come back to haunt him as EACC has disapproved his nomination to the cabinet by President William Ruto on grounds of having questions to answer on graft. EACC, in a reply to a letter of inquiry by the National Assembly Clerk Samuel Njoroge on the integrity of the CS nominees by President William Ruto, has indicated that Oparanya has a case to answer. Our political affairs reporter Mbuta Olentengis Ole 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 reports. The Honorable Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, Ministry of Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprise Development. It may not be easy sailing for Wycliffe Ambetsa Oparanya, the cooperatives and MSMEs nominee, as there are waves that could potentially end his journey to the cabinet. A letter written to the clerk of the National Assembly by EACC, seen by Citizen TV, dated 29th July 2024, casts a shadow over his nomination, elaborating that Oparanya's integrity is wanting. ESCC saying it conducted investigations on allegations of corruption against the nominee for offenses committed during his tenure as governor of Kakamega. ESCC adding that it filed for preservation orders against Oparanya's assets where he is suspected to be in possession of proceeds of corruption arising from conflict of interest and that the matter is still pending in court. The letter by ESCC is a response to a different letter written by the clerk of the National Assembly, Samuel Njoroge, seeking to have a background check on integrity matters from the ESCC on the nominees. While Integrity Center has cleared all the other nominees, Oparanya is facing a blockade from the findings by ESCC. According to the Public Appointments Act, which provides for procedures for parliamentary approval of constitutional and statutory appointments, the issues for consideration by the relevant House of Parliament in relation to any nomination shall be the procedure used to arrive at the nominee. Any constitutional or statutory requirements relating to the office in question, the suitability of the nominee for the appointment proposed, having regard to whether the nominee's abilities, experience and qualities meet the needs of the body to which nomination is being made. The constitution in this case mandates the ESCC to implement provisions of Chapter 6 of the Constitution on leadership and integrity to give direction on the suitability of the nominee on integrity issues. The information by ESCC will now be at the disposal of the vetting committee as the processes for cabinet secretaries commences Thursday. Oparanya's day before the committee is on Sunday. He is off to a faulty start as Kenyans call for the committee on appointments to be strict and unforgiving towards leaders with integrity issues.
The fourth quarterly report of 2023 by EACC exposed kickbacks worth 2.2 billion from six companies which were awarded 60 contracts by the Kakamega County government. The report also highlighted that the former governor leased his land to the county government and was paid over 56 million shillings, a case of conflict of interest. Melita Oletenges, Citizen TV, Nairobi. Kenyans. You've watched and listened to the video clip I've just displayed on our screen. There are some factors which always hinder us in this life. I normally tell you this thing, that the legacy to be left behind or to be left behind is very much essential in human life. So you normally think that I am joking. Up to, the, up to now, up to now, if Uru Kenyatta could have left a very bad legacy, then he could have even been stopped not to travel across the world. Believe me or not. I know why I am saying that. And the worst legacy to be left behind is corruption, murder, and even stealing from people all those silly mistakes you are trying to be uh, to manipulate or to have yourself sense of interest as a leader they are worst ethnicity and should not be seen in human humanitarian character that is what Wycliffe Oparanya is now experiencing today that is not fit to be in the office as a CS because he had some scandals when he was the governor. So look at this. President Ruto took his time, had seen his potential, had seen his experience, but now he had some case with the ASCC. So there is a dead end that Oparanya Wait, wait, you are not fit to be called as a CS because you still have a case to answer. That is what I am now seeing happening here. This is not all about Ruto. Let us forget about Ruto, who have nominated them. We are talking about Oparanya together with this team and the scandals which he made when he was the governor of Kakamega. So you see now, legacy is very much important. Kamu paranya angekuwa nafanya watu kazi vizuri angepatikana na hii corruption case. Kama angekuwa a good leader mwenye akona ili integrity ya kusimamia wa Kenya na kusema ukweli angepatikana na hii case. You've reached to an extent. You are now jobless. Let me use that. Though Paranya is rich, even richer than me, I'm not afraid to say it. But he, he has been stopped by the ESCC. I will find a case come here as a CS. I told the head of state last month that if I was him, then I could have just appointed the new new faces si wenye wamefanya kwa serikali ningechagua hata wengine wakuja wafanye kazi wa Kenya wako wengi hapa my youths those who have graduated those who are still schooling even the form four, even even those who, the form four leavers wapya wako na skill wanaweza fanya kazi kifanya ukipawa kazi kidogo unaongeza masomo kidogo hivyo ndio maisha yanasonga Na wakazi itafanyo vizuri sana. Rather than kuchagua wenye wako kwa serikali na wamefanya kwa serikali. That is what we are now experiencing. Oparanya have been stopped. Amambiwa he is unfit to be on that position. Because he, was, he is corrupted. He is a corrupt person or leader. He misbehaves during his leadership. And therefore, he still have a case to answer with the ACC. 
So the ESCC have written a letter to the members of parliament who are doing vetting that you should stop that man. Don't allow him on that CS position you have been granted by the first in command because you are still solving his case. That is what I've, I've, I've seen today happening. Let's wait and see the outcome. Ladies and gentlemen, drop your opinion at the comment section below. I raise my case at that point. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for your great support. Meanwhile, drop your opinion at the comment section below.